Hey everybody, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. My name's Ray Lazor, and this time we're here to play around with the new Gungeons and Dragons update, which adds a bunch of synergies, a new boss, and a bunch of other cool stuff like extra rooms that you can now look at, as well as some rebalancing in the Gungeon. So we'll be checking that stuff out today. And yeah, it's my first time actually playing this update. So I'll be picking the hunter. I always love going super aggressive with my stuff. And I see that there's some free stuff that we can buy. Not so free. I'll just buy these right now. Bum bullets. Alright, I have an idea what that does. And the other thing was Vorpal bullets, which I also have an idea. So Bum bullets probably release bees on a chance. Vorpal bullets probably have a chance at critical since we've seen the bee gun and the Vorpal gun before. Platinum bullets, I'm not entirely sure what these would do, but we will find out when we enter the gungeon. So let's get right into it. I guess now's a good time to mention if you like what you see in terms of gameplay, you can pick up this game for now, which they decide to release on sale for half price on Steam. So it's a pretty good time to grab this game if you're into that sort of jazz. But otherwise, just gonna do what I do best and that's play gungeon. Well, it's not what I do best, actually. What I do best is not uploading <laughs> appropriately. Ooh, that bullet got stuck. But yes, Hunter, because I love the crossbow, puts good use in the first floor. And typically, I like using this to clear the first floor as fast as possible to get into the challenging content, if you will. The one downside is that I don't get access to stuff like keys or active items. So I sometimes end up not being able to explore yet more floors when that happens. And proximity mines, keys, we might go back for that key later depending on how we do later on. I'm also told that in the dragons update, I'm just going to call it that I guess, is that they've rebalanced things to be a little bit easier as well as made it so that item drops are more likely or like room clear drops like that one and that one thanks to my dog. Thank you dog. Gotta love corgis. That's, I guess, another benefit of uh, running a gungeon with the, um, ooh, there's that. Okay. Running the gungeon with uh, the huntress with her corgi. These statues are new, can I? Oh, they might just be decals. I'm not entirely sure. In any case, this crack wall lets me check in here for what looks like a red bullet box. Guns partially filled, okay. And it looks like we get a much better secret room here as well. Since I'm not a big fan of wood chest, we're going to crack this one open. And we're going to get a heart container, heart lunchbox, nice. And I'm just going to destroy this while I still have a key on just for the chance of getting junk. Which I can build into another item which I've unlocked in the past called Sir Junkin. Which will basically just upgrade as a small little companion that follows you around depending on the amount of junk you have with you. For the most part, I've unlocked a lot of things in this game. I would say like 90% of it. So hopefully we'll be able to see some of the new content in this new update. Um, but that's not a given. And since we're right here, we might as well clean up the fireplace. Just because I do like diving into the sewers. The dank, dank sewers where I belong. How are we doing so far? We're doing alright. Haven't been hit yet, which is good. That lets me keep that coolness bonus up and look for more goodies. Nice. Okay. And another blank. Thank you, dog. I wonder if you've been balanced up. Another thing that I'm excited for is the uh, synergy updates where they will make it so that some guns can be combined into better guns. I will be linking the trailer in the description. And that's basically the only thing dragons updated that I've noticed or that I've seen haven't read any like patch notes or anything like that haven't even looked at the wiki so I might be playing a little stupid if I bump into something new also did you see that firecracker kin thing earlier that was pretty awesome how it just lit up half the room with its explosion definitely gonna make sure where it's gonna land when it dies I guess so we'll be careful if more of those guys show up later and there's another one look at that it just shoots off. I can't tell if that's because I'm firing it and propelling it in that direction or what's going on there. In any case, what do we have here? Another bullet. Nice. Also, I want to apologize if my upload schedule is a little flaky here. I still don't really know what I want to do with my channel just yet. 
and with something like Enter the Gungeon, my uploading speed is actually insanely slow. Otherwise, I would have picked up streaming during the times when I wasn't uploading. But yeah, uploading something like an Enter the Gungeon video, which sits around 50 minutes, let's say, can take upwards of an entire day for me to uh, upload. The rendering time can be done in like hours for me. Not a big problem at all. But everything else does get messy. I'm just going to work on breaking these statues. Never know. Might upset something later on in the future, but for now, that's alright. Looks like we're going in for the boss next since we bumped into w two wood chests, which I'm not a big fan of, so... Yeah, let's get started then. Dealing with Gatling Gull, pretty standard. Um, I'm a little worried about the amount of ammo I have for this crossbow. So it might be the case that I'm going to have to switch over to my revolver or take a few hits. Though I'm not too worried about getting the um, mastery bullets, I guess, master chambers. Just because I've collected plenty of them before and that sort of stuff has already been done in the past by me. Okay, and I bumped into something, so that didn't work out well. And that makes it two. Great. What a good start. Make that three. I was trying to hit the chandelier, and it didn't work out. Apparently, you can dive over tables. Yeah, look at that. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing for me. I imagine I'm going to accidentally bump into them on occasion, and as a result, get hurt. But we'll see. I guess for now, I should just avoid tables until I get used to it. Oh, God. I could be using my blanks, but I'm a bit of a weenie when it comes to using blanks. Not a big fan of it. Usually because I like saving them for clearing out special rooms. But we have plenty of health dropped around the map to the point where I'm not too worried if that's going to become a problem or not. Doggo just picked up a coin, I think, which is why that showed up there. And yes, there's plenty of hearts lying around. We won't have to worry about that. And yes, we have plenty of money, so we are going to go into the sewer areas in a second. And we have a shot bow now, so that should help uh, alleviate any tension we had earlier. Okay, so buy the key, and we'll go into the secret room. I feel a little sniffly here, so I'm tempted to just like make a super gross noise, but <sighs> no, that didn't work. Never mind, we're just gonna have to keep rolling with this recording. <laughs> I guess if you're a Gungeoneer, leave in the comments below what you're excited for in this new update. Uh, of course, I don't know of how many of you guys are Gungeoneers. For the most part, I only know that one of you guys is out there watching right now. So thanks, Jay. I read your comment. Really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll just keep doing what we do. I guess I can go into story time right now since we're always just doing the do. This is something that I like automating. I'd prefer if I had a little bit more structure since, honestly, despite playing this game so much, I don't know too much about it. A lot of it just came from reading the wiki. Um, but yeah, I came in from Gungeon from Binding of Isaac, where I played the original one, which was made by, what, Edward McCullen in uh, the Flash engine. And yeah, I did that, had a bloody good time with it. Bought Rebirth, didn't get too deep into it, although I am still interested in playing and recording that one day. Though, the likelihood of that is very slim. Just because we have something like this out here. And I figured I'd just go for another Gungeon video, even though I don't know too much about um, the game here. Just because, well, if there's one way to get views, it's to showcase the new content. And I happen to have everything needed to... Do some Gungeon Let's Plays, of course. I'm pretty certain that some of the other folks out there are amazing at doing Gungeon Let's Plays. I once saw a stream where someone had like a Lich Kill counter, which is the final boss of the game, period, final boss. And it is insane how this person was able to keep a streak of like, what, 100? Which is uh, <laughs> not possible for me. I probably get him once every three times. So, that's a little pathetic. As you can tell with the way I, like, roll into uh, bullets and stuff here. But it's okay. Dive in here. It's currently nothing too new that I see lying around. Oh, well, that's new. What do we have here? Infuriating note. You've been had. Oh! 
that looks like something is that is tied to the new um resourceful rat stuff i guess we'll do a quick check in the stuff i'm not sure why it's telling me that i've unlocked these things what is a baby good mimic i've never heard of this before um okay some bullets purple guns all right cool back to at it i've taken your stuff but you have to keep pushing through i'll have to try harder so rats off to you resourceful rat with a little piece of cheese i've been had okay well it seems like Mr. Resourceful Rat is starting to steal our loot, which is uh, a little bit more braver than what he did before, where he would just grab stuff that you left behind and insult you, and then he would occasionally just give you the stuff back if you take one of the level exit things. Uh, the things that would let you go and skip a level, just so that you had some sort of weapon to uh, fend yourself off with. Although I personally found that they were all garbage, so... I never bothered with it after completing the little thing for that. Oh, and another thing I want to check on real quick. Would be... I want to see what these new enemies are. I don't know if they're at the bottom. Or if I just missed them. I probably just missed them. Hmm. It looks like they haven't been updated. Maybe I need to die first in order to get this information. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll worry about this later. And in the meantime, we'll just get right back into the business in the sewers. I always found it a little gruesome that you can see, like, some sick bodies just laying around. Like this guy right here and just... Whoop. And now he's been sent to the underworld. We'll save the shot bow for the boss. And I'm not too worried about getting hit by that boss either, since these uh, optional levels, like the sewer here that I've unlocked, don't require, um, won't drop a master round when I kill them. Master rounds being these things where if you don't get hit by it once, in the fight at all you will get an extra life in the little top left corner little extra heart container as i call them since uh i think gungeon itself is very aware of the fact that they look a little bit like our uh, beloved crystals from the legend of zelda franchise okay getting caught between two shotguns not a big fan of it there we go how are we doing so far doing just fine and we're gonna clock into this room Hmm. And I'm gonna put a quick shot, check each of the things. What are you? Oh, you're the... What would you might call it? The, the smooth talker. What's in here? We got an actual weapon. It's another crossbow. It seems like the Huntress is getting a lot of crossbows. I'm curious if that's a new update thing or if I'm just getting super lucky, but... I guess now I have something to write in the title of this YouTube video. I don't know if I want to switch over to the little silly font that I used to use a while back, the Cambria math font, since, um, yeah, if I'm trying to grow a channel, SEO is definitely important. What is that? Save for later? What is that? Looks like I've sent it somewhere else. What is this? What is this little icon here? Is that floor two? Okay, well, we'll just hang on to that then. Maybe I should have done this more often. We can always go back to that previous room there. Uh, this room looks absolutely horrid, but the good thing is that these guys usually just end up vomiting all over themselves. So we'll just stay in a circle. And yeah, just keep plowing into them. Uh, yeah, the way I play, not exactly the most exciting, but it usually gets the job done through the majority of the floors, regardless of what I get. Always love the crossbow. This thing is definitely trusty all the way through. A lot of the gungeon. And we're just gonna keep rolling a bunch. There we go. And let's see here. Save for later. Yeah, we'll just keep collecting these. Yep, that is a counter. With all the health in it. Very interesting indeed. Alright, we'll unlock you. And it looks like there's a new buddy in here. And more keys. Hmm. That is a dog with a note for me. Do you have any more keys here? Or am I just gonna have to- Oh, who are you? Hello? Oh, maybe he's all the health that I've stored and will just release them to me later. Very interesting, very interesting. I can definitely see how this makes the game a little bit easier for newcomers. Which is something that I definitely appreciate when I first played Gungeon. It was pretty darn miserable to get the hang of everything. I actually had to rely pretty darn heavily on my Toho Project skills, which are basically nil. Uh, I do terrible in the Toho Project game series. 
but I use that in order to primarily dodge. Even something like dodge rolling was such a foreign concept to me after just being used to dodge normally. <laughs> so, yeah, that's definitely a weird thing to go. Gungeon is probably one of those games though where you're absolutely gonna get your money's worth every single time. I personally find the animation to look really ugly compared to the cutesy pixel art style. Which uh, is able to convey some pretty good number of emotions, I think, in a very silly manner. Um, but yeah, doing good. I ended up getting brought into Gungeon by a good friend of mine. Who just obsessed over it for a good bit. And just kept telling me to buy it over and over again until I finally caved in. And I was like, alright, what's the big deal here? You better not have screwed me over. And I ended up just not dropping that game for hours on end. <laughs> So that's pretty good. There we go. We just killed this basically oversized wad of gum and he has dropped the key, which is the he has also dropped a lot of these credits. My god. All right. Well, we got the cell key, which means we can unlock that bearer man there now. So let's teleport over there to meet him. Oh, and I got to get that heart to save it for later. Okay. Well, here you go. Let's talk to you, my man. Oh, hey, buddy. You set me free. I never thought I would escape from this cell. Anyways, I'm Tonic. Tonic the Sledge Dog. Okay, cool. So we're getting a quick Sonic uh, reference here. Uh, it's a bit unacceptable since his arms are blue and not flesh colored. So I, I'm not a big fan of this character design actually. Look for me up in the breach if you ever want to go a little faster. Alright, well, see you later. Be seeing you. Hey, and we got a key right on. We're going to be able to grab this, which lets us access the next uh, secret level if we're able to uh, get by to the specific shrine that we need to reach without getting hit. So far, so good. And personally, I haven't been like bumped or troubled by any of these Neo uh, things. So I'm pretty okay with that. I'm curious if like I shoot you. Nah, you just exist there with your... Silly mouth. <laughs> Alright, well, we can keep going, and as you can tell right there, despite that being such a difficult floor, we just end up in Gungeon 2, Gungeon proper. So, oh, and that's a chance roller thing. That's new. Oh, okay, I get ya, I get ya. Not a big fan. Uh, that looks terrifying to deal with in a cluttered room, but I guess just another exotic creature that I'm going to have to deal with later. Okay. Standard gun knights, not a big problem at all. Take a few hits, but I'm always a big fan of killing them because they usually drop some of these nickel casings here, as I like to call them since they're worth five. So yeah, things are going pretty well. It looks like my crossbow is not the most effective item now since it takes two bolts in order to kill these little yellow magicians, which I hate the most. So we'll definitely be cautious of that later. What are you? You are the Nod Key. Oh, and I can pay into it over time until I get to have it. I see, I see. Do I want a drill? A drill would let me open up things without having to buy keys. So this is a long-term investment. I'm going to grab this, my friend. And I won't pay you down just yet since I might need a heart later. Or maybe the drill doesn't work and I just really need to get into a room. But once we're done with the level, we'll be sure to uh, take a look into that. And right now, I'll just use my shot bow in order to try to do some crowd control on these bad boys here. I like saving my good guns for the bosses, which ends up pretty humiliating when I die or run off ammo, just like in the last game. But yeah. And we'll roll into you. Problem solved. Partial ammo fill. Yeah, we'll just put it on you. There we go. I imagine it fills up like, what, 60%? That was a new enemy. I'm going to have to go chase him down. Oh! He dropped something special. Ah, it's an ammo box. Okay, cool. Now then, how do I maneuver out of this magician's hell territory? I really got uh, enraptured by it. And I'm kind of amazed that I haven't been hit yet. So we'll be able to carry the legacy on. We'll put it on this bad boy here. Just because we're running low on ammo for that. And we will switch back to the crossbow. Just because I still can get plenty of use out of it. Compared to, say, floor 3. When things just... Don't cut it. There we go. Thank goodness I still had a blank. I was really worried that I ran out from the previous stuff with the mage and the other garbage there. Okay. 
And we'll finish you off. What do we have? Drop deer snipers. Not a big deal at all. There we go. I wonder if you can roll over a table that's already been flipped up. I will test that right now. Okay, so we'll go here. No, we can't roll over flip tables, which is probably for the best since I would pretty much screw that up pretty badly. Okay, and there we go. Partial ammo fill. We'll go for the shot bow again. Sliding over tables is interesting because I usually roll in order to get onto get stuck or lodged onto a table in order to help maneuver. I treat it like a secondary wall. But now this means I would have to flip that table first if I ever wanted to rely on it in the future. Definitely an interesting design change, but I'm sure a lot of people got annoyed by the fact that we do all this dodge rolling, but for some reason, these tables just stop us like an immovable object, so I understand why they might have gotten rid of that. Okay. Oh, and it looks like it's another secret room. Nice. Um, I'll crack you open right now. Are you a mimic? Nope, you're just a friendly old thing with a blunderbuss. Not the most useful thing, but I guess I can use this in order to check if these are secret rooms. And I won't be activating my drill on this chest yet, despite wanting it, because I still need to seek the altar to put this uh, special ancient crest, the little shield icon with the cup in it. And I don't want to risk myself getting hit by more things than I need to. There we go. The firecracker seems like it's more of a helpful enemy than a hard enemy. We gotta switch gears right now. Okay, okay. And we're gonna go for the sticky bomb since I need to make sure I get my hits worth in here. There we go. Alright, dive here. Gotta keep that shot bow going. Nice, and we have cleared this room. That was a little hectic. Hello! I hate these fireballs as well. These, uh... Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> they definitely just like force you to move a certain way when they start spreading out and you're like, oh, I gotta pick a decision. I gotta make a decision. So I'm still amazed yet that I managed to clear these floors thus far. Okay, and what do we have here? Another firecracker. Didn't get the way I want and it looks like the chance dies things. Uh, we'll use a random, random attack. So an attack that is based off a random pattern, randomly, out of a set of things. It's a random random dice, if you will. Incredible. Alright. Please be the room that I'm looking for. You are just not it. Gotta deal with some grenades. Okay, okay. Well, get rid of the barrels if you want. So far, so good. Ammo is looking just fine. We'll fill up our crossbow. And this is another chest. Nice. Go and break these statues since I'm a bad man like that. I'm kind of amazed that I haven't seen any Huntress statues, or maybe I've broken them too quickly to notice. But here we go, we can put it on the altar and not have to worry about protecting that thing anymore. So we'll go back and activate the drill here and let's see if we can get something good for the amount of enemies we're going to have to fight in a second. We're going to switch over to the shot bow since uh, usually it's a tight space where we need to do some serious crowd control. And I always love the fact that we get three in the chamber instead of just one with the crossbow. Definitely putting these bow like things in general to good use. Looks like I ran out of blanks there and that really hurt me. Okay, and I guess because I have the blunderbuss here right now, I might as well put this bad boy to use, and we'll just switch to carbine. That's fine. And it looks like we have cleared the room, so we can see what's in this chest. Whoops, okay, what do we have here? Ah, it's you, the layman configuratum. Here, let's pop it right now. Are we gonna get anything good? We got a heart-shaped box. What a swell deal. And what we're going to do right after, actually, is uh, dump it, because I still want to keep my drill. I know that the Layman Configurum is a fantastic item for people who want to secure Gungeon runs, but right now, at this moment, I'm more interested in clearing the floors normally, as opposed to just rolling everything and going ham with this. So we'll just keep moving ahead now. And what do we have here? It's especially the case because I want to hopefully bump into like some sort of cool thing that needs a key because I would imagine something like this might be locked behind keys as opposed to just trying to roll for the items which uh, aren't a given when it comes to trying to get them 
and we'll start drilling at this lock as well. I believe depending on the chest quality, you have a certain level of difficulty that you have to deal with. I can also notice that there's a small glitch in the top right hand corner. If you're watching this in full screen instead of just listening or seeing it in the windowed mode or on mobile, you'll notice that the minimap has cleared up, but the low character icon has not. And there we go, we're back in. And it is the trick gun. I hate this thing. <laughs> so, we got a few garbage items here. We're actually just going to clear them out and see what we get. So, the muncher can have our blunderbuss, since I'm not a big fun fan of it. And he can have the trick gun. And hopefully we get something that's barely tolerable instead of those two bad boys. We got ourselves the membrane, which is something that I'm a big fan of using, actually. It's a relatively low damage shotgun, but it carries around... A humongous number of uh, shells so I will be able to put that to good use but for now we're gonna be fighting the ammo conda I want to use my sticky crossbow to get that explosive damage in and yeah ah all right so far so good I never understood why it poops out or like these little lumps come out and then it eats them um I can't tell if they just randomly spawn off the pile or if he poops them and then he comes back for them later it was always a weird thing to really deal with that. I also want to apologize if you can hear my incessant clicking. I think that's just something that's going to be given when it comes to playing Gungeon. Just trying my best to get out as many bullets across the range when, you know, you have a frankly bullet hell-esque monster here just uh, laying it on me thick. We're actually running off sticky crossbow ammunition as well, so I'm going to have to be a little careful with that since we won't be able to finish him off with just this weapon alone. I think I'll switch to the carbine afterwards, just because I want as much damage coming out as soon as possible, just so as so I can end this fight quickly. And I can't tell if I even do very much damage, or that much damage, when uh, it eats those lumps now. It looks like it gets a bigger sh defense increase, or I might just be tricking myself. Oh, it's regenerating health. Well, I guess that's definitely an incentive to start blowing those things away. The ammo conda has gone a buff. With how uh, the world has become easier, I guess. Are these guys easier to break out? Can you stop hurting me? Because I'm trying to get something done here. I see how um, a rapid fire assault rifle or something might be more beneficial in this fight than, say, the crossbows that I've been using. Just because of uh, how the way things are. And we got ourselves a table flip tech money thing. Yeah, table tech money thing. So when we flip tables, we're going to get some cash back. Um, I'm interested to see if they ever buffed this. What did we leave? We left the layment configure. Good luck, buddy. Make sure you don't get yourself trapped in the box accidentally. I know you're pretty small. And there's no heart container thing. Oh, it looks like it resets. I see, because hearts don't get stolen by the rat. So, you might as well just offer the service of having them all congregate in the same spot for that room in particular. Okay. So, where do we want to go here now? We don't have any blanks, um, so there's no point in searching things around. I don't feel like buying any. I do want to do a pay down on this nod key, so let's just put the 100 in on it now. And we'll go into that secret room since we managed to unlock it and just keep going at it. At this point, I'll be a little bit more cautious with my crossbows because um, it's at the point where they're not the most useful items around here. Instead, I'll be keeping the membrane with me. And that should be able to put plenty of bullets down range so that I hit something, probably. Uh, I always hate these rooms. I'm not very good at uh, the whole parkour thing. Whoops, my dog just got sent to the other side of the world. And uh, yeah, this gun is definitely not viable when you're dealing with hell. Just because, while well, you're shooting at something, it's very easy for you to just not notice the other things that are blowing your brains out right now. There we go, and we will move forward through this whole area. Getting a little bit of money here and there from the table tech money, which I haven't even noticed. And I guess it helps too, because it flips all the tables in the room. So I'll be able to just focus down on um, ramming myself and rolling into tables if need be for an extra wall and not do stuff like that, which was pretty stupid. I don't think money ever comes back if it falls into the water, which is unfortunate since I love push weapons that just knock things into water and all that. But it's something I guess you get to pay in for, for the easy kill of knocking something in. I wonder if fire is super effective against books. 
I feel like book burning is something that should be encouraged by Gungeon, as a disturbing as that may sound. And we'll take you out, darn jammed enemies. I did pick up the configurum on purpose, just in case if I run into a demon door, I'll be able to go in there and access its services, as opposed to just getting hurt for not having curse. I'm sure it's a very low chance, and me seeing it in the last uh, gameplay means I won't be seeing it in this run, or like it's an unlikely chance of having both in a row, but that's not something I'm too worried about. And also because I think there's like a fallacy in that. You are brand new and you are making a spider web out of bullets. I am going to get my assault rifle right now and just really blow you down. There we go. Wow, and it turned into webs that slow you down too. That's a pretty gnarly enemy. Maybe we'll be seeing some more spider folks lying around now. Whoops, gotta be careful. I don't want to accidentally break the chest. Hey, that's a secret room. Brother Albert, are you here? Alburn, hello. What number are you thinking of? It's obviously 9. A good number for any Toho fan here. And what we're gonna get is the AWP and a... What is it? Double vision. I don't need that. Um, it is definitely a fantastic weapon to have. Or, I mean, item to have if you want to just output some serious damage against your enemies. But for now, like I said, just a quick tour through the Dungeons and Dragons area, so I'm not too worried about that stuff at all. I'm kind of curious in the case that if my video did get popular with the Gungeon community, what they would think of this commentary, because it is nothing serious at all and I'm not exactly providing anything too insightful. Definitely a curious thing to be had, but nonetheless, as a YouTuber of great self-esteem, I sure do hope this video becomes popular anyways. And if you are here, uh, yeah, well, I, I told you to write a comment earlier, like, probably 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Have you done that yet? <laughs> if you've watched this far. In any case, let's see what's in this box here, and it is a Polaris. It's not a bad little pistol, I don't use it too often, but I guess it would be a relative good substitute for the standard default one. I'm going to stick to my membrane though, I like emptying out the ammo and guns, just so I don't accidentally scroll into them and get the false impression that I got a fully loaded gun to work with. Getting pretty harmed up here, gotta be careful. I wonder if the little like potion box dispenser shows up once you've picked up a heart for later. I'm not entirely sure. All right, well, in any case, we can go to the shop. There is Cursula selling things for cursy curse things. Something I'm not too interested in. The loot bag is something that's interesting to me, but I can't afford it. Just because I already have the drill, so I wouldn't mind having a few companions wandering around with me in my little heist. And typically, I try not to get hit too often, so. I guess there is incentive to carry that, since I hopefully won't get hit too often. <laughs> Alright. Clear you. We have met Brother Auburn now, so I guess all that's left is to clear through and fight the boss and call it in. And we have some extra ammo. What do I want to put you on? I'm going to put you on the membrane. And let's see here. Yeah, we'll just drill and use the membrane once more. Hopefully we don't bump into anything serious in these little things. It would be pretty gnarly if there was a mid-boss that kind of showed up. Unless that spider thing is considered a mid-boss, in which case, how horrible. And it is dead. Alright, what do we have here? It's an M1. <laughs> wow, again, some sweet rolls here. I might actually use this. Put a sniper to good use, why not? Might as well. Terrible roll. I might end up dying at this rate. Uh, I do have a few pocket change. A few amounts of pocket change. So I can always switch to just healing myself real quick. Nothing to worry about there. Next time, hopefully with a Gungeon video, I'll have a topic to talk about. I like to equate these things to the original Call of Duty 4 Let's Play commentaries that people used to make way back in the early days of uh, YouTube when people had machinima and no copyright strikes and all that jazz. But otherwise, I guess it would be pretty good to learn how to talk about my Gungeon strategy. Not that I really have one. I play pretty darn vanilla most of the time. 
And we can get one heart for how much? 42. All right, well, I'm going to take a gamble and go into the next room. Hopefully, we can hit 42, and then I will buy that heart. I know for a fact that the boss has a tendency of uh, firing out jammed bullets, and that's something that I'm just not down with right now. So... We will definitely pull the little stretch in order to try to get some cash. Two coins. Those guys were uh, chump changed there. There we go. Goes not too bad. Just annoying since you got that suppressive fire that it loves to pull on you. And there we go. Pop that bubble. Got a key. Which I guess helps, but it's not exactly something I'm looking to. I guess if I get too many keys, I can always use them instead of... Uh, just having to fight more and more enemies each time and screw you magician i'm not letting you live okay pop you now that you're nice and fat i can pop you as well what we have here is a nice green chest i oh and another secret room what do we have here an armor i'm gonna need that and a blank nice a refund i'm gonna use the key and i got myself a mask what a sweet deal Okay, we're fighting the boss. What do we have here? I think I will use the AWP to get some damage out and switch over to the carbine later if need be. If I get enough money, I might go for the loot bag instead of the heart and uh, play my chances. And wow, this AWP is not doing a whole lot. <laughs> At least... Ah! Oh, I got two little companions with me. Okay. Well, this certainly helps. Man... I sure wish that I got 42 coins so I could buy that heart. This is definitely going to be an iffy fight. Thank goodness I have that a little buddy there just pumping the sod off to help me out. And I am amazed I didn't just get hit by that there. Just a, just a graze, really. And that bad boy's blank definitely just helped me right there. This boss fight looking a little optimistic, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Woo! Okay. And we'll pump more op rounds into you. We might be able to kill it. Ah! <laughs> I lived. Oh, I didn't get hit. Um, we might be able to pump all of our op rounds, and then that should be good to just finishing this bad boy off. We will see. I am on fire. I am now not on fire. I've been hit, and now it is sudden death. We're going to switch over to our carbine real quick, and just really... Ooh, yep, definitely sudden death now. Definitely want the carbine out. Kill him as soon as possible. There we go! And I am going to make it out alive by the skin of my teeth. Any health, please? Any health? Oh, how sweet. An ice heart and half a heart. I will take the ice heart, frankly. I know they're a relatively hated uh, item in the community for just showing up in all of the chests. Why did I miss my AWP? Did I do something? My AWP upgraded to an Asimov skin. What the fuck is going on in this game? <laughs> an extremely powerful rifle banned in some sectors. It's he's once handicapped by its long chambering time. Some say it will fire faster if you put it in your backpack after every shot. That's true in the old Counter-Strike games. Iceheart. A common target for talented monster hunters. Does this thing upgrade my op? Oh, 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 wait, wait a second. When I click the op, I got a little plus sign. So it looks like the Heart of Ice synergizes well with the AWP. That's pretty awesome. So that's how you can recognize synergies, it looks like. I'm not entirely sure what this does to the op, but maybe it does more damage now that we got a nice little Asimov skin. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves a pretty sweet deal. And I don't know if I need to look out for hearts. We're going to Gungeon the gungeon mines the black powder mines i believe in the next floor floor three so i might be inclined to save my money but you know what no we're on a good run right now i'm not gonna risk it we're gonna go for the heart and keep moving we'll put these eight bullets to good use and maybe we'll be able to see a difference and i just wanna i wanna 360 no scope the dragon with my azimov up that is my goal right now so hopefully we'll be able to find more ammo later on since i am absolutely gonna put this thing into good use it looks like it just tore through that spider so it looks like this thing definitely does a good amount of damage now and the webs burn when they're lit on fire wow this is actually a pretty awesome update i'm loving these like tiny little changes that they add into the game and this op is doing damn good work so if i get a chance to i might actually buy extra ammo for it later 
All right, but it looks like we're gonna have to go right back to the membrane. Hey, 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 extra ammo. It looks like that's not the case. I might save the op for a boss fight then, since uh, I imagine I'd get extra damage or something cool for a synergy. And I absolutely want to use this to blow up that cannon Balrog or whatever else demonic monster wants to uh, come fight me. What do I want to put this on? I guess I'll put it on the M1 and I want to put the Polaris to good use since if there's any Polaris fans out there watching, they can enjoy that. Not to be confused with Polaris, the uh, YouTuber network. <laughs> Although I was a big fan of them too. I'm not entirely sure if they disassembled or not. Hmm. Anyways, ooh, we got a nice aim game here. Did I? You know, I've made a tidy sum off of you. Speak with me in the breach and I'll give you something special. Looks like it's something that I forgot to uh, collect from him. So we can come. We're probably going to stay in the breach for a little bit after we finish our run, whether we succeed or fail. And yeah, we'll talk to him as well, alongside with uh, Tonic the Sledge Dog. <laughs> and see what's going on there since this is absolutely like a first look at the dragon's uh, update here which is what I'm going to absolutely market this video as look at this AC-15 that is a big boy gun I've never seen that before it looks good it looks like it's supposed to be a pistol too though so I'm pretty curious what that's gonna be I think this is one of the new rooms because this enemy generation is pretty fucking hardcore with the multitude of like red lines and I think I accidentally got myself burnt by poison twice so that's uh, pretty stupid of me acid burnt by acid I guess there we go alright we are clearing floor after floor pretty well here we still have this mark here I have an idea of what it does and what I'm guessing is that you will encounter him as a boss later if you have this mark give me that key you dirtbag oh I'm not a Polaris oh I'm still a Polaris fan there we go Okay, we gotta, we gotta start packing some heat here. Things are getting a little dangerous. Woo! Okay. Are we good? We're good. We have one heart though, so yeah. AWP is coming in hot. Gotta make sure we stay alive. Can't believe that 42 coins worth of hearts just went down the drain right there. Um, gotta be careful. Oh, the ice of heart makes it so that my Azimov will actually freeze enemies when I shoot them. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense, and that's the reason why it synergizes with the AWP with a nice little visual indicator, I guess, with the Asimov skin. And that's probably done because it's just one of the more recognizable skins of Counter-Strike, and a very hefty, valuable one as well. I actually ended up selling all of my CSGO skins at some point because I got to the point where I realized that they weren't worth it to be chasing after and being part of that whole, like, skin community system since just there was such a low payout for putting actual money into the game so i ended up cashing out on all my skins and capsules and all that jazz and just bought myself a few games so far uh didn't really notice a difference because they don't change the game i'm sure that if you're a big fan of um whoops i'm sure that if you're a big fan of counter strike though those skins seem a little bit more worth it than other things Although I will have to admit that if you are the kind of person who buys those skins, uh, just look at how people used to buy wedding rings and Team Fortress 2. Uh, it might not be the best idea to go for uh, virtual goods because they do look a little silly later on in the future. You can have that resourceful rat. Um, hopefully you actually drink it and just die or something. <laughs> I don't like how this entire new update is antagonizing my boy the resourceful rat though. I personally thought of him as like a shy boy who just wanted to help me out and has poor social skills. Because in the end he did give me weapons in order to go through the chamber again. Maybe a reason to go steal more things but what am I gonna do? It's not like I can carry it. Why leave it on the floor? Resourceful rat just, just doing a good thing man. So I don't blame our uh, fuzzy friend at all although it is kind of weird when you're walking around wearing like the corpse of some dude uh yeah that's that's probably not cool <laughs> i would not want someone to wear my skin when i'm dead i mean not that i could complain though because i would be dead and i guess like all right yeah sure whatever if i'm dead and you want to wear my skin just go ham go ahead <laughs> i don't have anything to lose from that there is no more dignity i've already made a youtube channel okay and take these guys out nice little picks so far so good 
And wow, this has been a pretty darn big floor. Very spacious. I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually a lot of secret floors lying around, which is why. Um, hmm. Alright, let's just crack you open. It's Smiley's revolver. I believe this makes it so that uh, things in the shop are cheaper. That's nice. I could buy a purse in order to get some extra health. And I could also buy the blood brooch in order to redeem myself for the pathetic play that I did last time. I think I'll go for neither since uh, having the Grim Reaper just chase me down is a pretty scary thing. And especially in this new version of the game, I'm not entirely sure like when that happens. So it's better not to tamper with it for now. Um, if I'm really sinking for health, then fine. I'm willing to deal with a few jammed enemies. For the most part, I have a pretty decent loadout right now. I'm pretty happy that we managed to get one synergy on recording so we get an idea of what it's supposed to do. Uh huh. I was worried that it was going to be like a duct tape kind of thing where you duct tape two guns together and then it would look like the new gun. It looks like just having them will make something cool happen. So yeah, definitely the best surprise to see the AW1 first. I imagine other synergies might not be as uh, flamboyant and exciting. So yeah, that was my good first time. I enjoyed having my synergy cherry popped. Uh, that was probably one of the strangest things I've had to say out loud in a while. Okay, to the shopkeeper we go. We can buy some health from this bad boy. But I also want the AC-15. I feel like a gun nut now. But we're also going against the boss. I'm not going to risk it. Especially since we have a tiny bit of jam on us. And I don't want to accidentally bump into a jam boss with only one hit left. Not a big fan of sudden death as you can tell. And yeah, let's get into it. Tank guy, not too bad. It feels like the op does more damage, but this might just be me being stupid because I haven't played this game in a while. Because it does get dry when you run out of things to do. Um, and there we go. Or at least like the last bit, you know? When you do 90% of a game, yeah, there's still the 10% left. But that's typically the stuff that's super grindy unless the game is very thoroughly paced. And that's something that's frankly not very easy to do when you're going for a randomly procedurated game like so. But no, that's absolutely more damage. This Asimov has been whacking ham. Don't give Counter-Strike or the Valve team any ideas though because Payday 2 with those overpowered skins was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made and I'm still kind of upset with them for that. Okay, and let's see if there's any... Ah, let's just pop the thing. Let's go here. Pop the thing. Go to the room. We've already opened this, so that's not a problem. Nope. I guess I want to check this room real quick. And if not, we'll pop the last blank in Kursala's place. Okay. And see if there's any secrets to be had. Nothing. Hmm. Heart purse, heart purse, heart purse. I'm already half health. Uh, no. I'm not going to. I know I bought that heart, so that might have ruined my chances of going for the AC-15. So, let's go do some target practice. I want a nice varied gameplay where you get to see how terrible I am with this game mode. And... Whoops. I missed there. I don't know why I didn't shoot. Oh. Absolutely pathetic. I guess I'll just go for you. You're a nice easy pick. And can I get another one for that red chest, please? Ah, oh, almost cool. Well, what do we have here? It's the big iron. What a consolation prize. It's not bad. Um, I didn't ever notice that it was heavy either. Uh, yeah, not my biggest fan. Not my favorite weapon. Uh, I do love the cell creep though, because I would probably clear half my inventory right now for that cell creep. But that's besides the point. Let's keep going in and it looks like the drill might be less useful now going further in just because I do have some keys and my health is not doing good to be like pushing myself in a fight like that. And I guess we'll put the carbine to good use. It's at the point where I don't think the carbine is like a vital weapon for my own success and it's probably pretty low damage now as well. So I can use it to just spray things down. I'm always a big fan of the assault rifles. I love it when I can just start mowing things down like crazy. Like so. Even though it doesn't do too much damage. I'm actually a big fan of the clob gun. Which is arguably one of the worst guns in Gungeon. And we got a spider to deal with. Okay. Is it dead? Nope. It is not dead at all. Hello. Now you are. Hey. And a shield. Security. When did that second shield come in? I didn't notice that just yet. Maybe I got a second one. Maybe I picked it up without realizing. It looks like I'm a little bit better off than I thought I was. So, that's always nice. 
Especially since I always overestimate myself in uh, bullet hell. So that's something that we ought to be careful of this time around. Hopefully we don't run into any accidents. And yeah. There we go. I guess another question I have if you're a Gungeoneer would be, what kind of synergy would you want with your weapons? I personally like the idea of having the Stardew water can and like the pea shooter and like by having them as a synergy, you upgrade the pea shooter into like a bigger pea pot or something. Oh god, oh god, there's so many explosions. I see how those things can become dangerous now. <laughs> Thank goodness I stayed in the roll to um, not get hurt there. Whew, that was almost bad. Alright, we can continue clearing these floors. Do a little jiggle, do a little jiggly dance in the corner. There we go. Got my little payday guys putting in some good work here. Ammunition, how's my Azimov doing? Doing just fine actually. Alright, we'll just recharge the Hegemony Carbine then. Since I'm currently using this as my weapon of choice. Gotta blast everyone down at high rates, so I might as well. And gotta deal with the reload as well I guess. All right, running out of things to say, admittedly. Um, things have been going relatively smoothly and I just kind of want to see something new again, you know? Admittedly, when you add 200 new maps to what, an already probably 100 map plus pool size, hundreds of map pool size, it's probably something that's not very likely to see and admittedly, like it would still be using the same palette so I might not even notice that I'm traversing new rooms. I'd like to see another synergy. I guess that's a new enemy. Ask and ye shall receive. That thing is terrifying because it's just sitting in like the 2.5D plane for some reason. What in the world are you? I'm just gonna keep shooting at you. I imagine you're one of those weird mini boss things. What is that? Is that left over? No, that's just a skull. All right. We will move on then. Nice. Put the ice bomb to good use. I spent the longest time when I first played Gungeon avoiding these little ice bombs because I thought they would hurt me the same way that the explosive barrels would. Turns out they're pretty good. You can run into them, just spray them down and have nothing happen to you. It looks like we're able to actually see what's going on beyond this area here, which, I was, which is something I'm kind of amazed of because I didn't know you could have that. What is that brown thing on it though? That's not normal, is it? Hmm. You know what? I'm a brave boy. First of all, can I get the strain? Of course not. That thing's always super expensive. Not that big of a payoff too. Cutting down someone's or all the enemies max health by 10%. I don't know how much they scale though, but it feels relatively insignificant. What's going on? Oh, you're holding the map. That's why. Yeah, I'll help you out in filling this room. Why not? I'm also sad that I can't steal his sword and shield using the conventional stealing methods. A little upsetting, but whatever. Maybe that's something that's added now. Who knows? If only I was reading the wiki right now. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving ahead. I guess there's one benefit in uh, not reading the wiki, which is getting those small glimmers of excitement when you discover something new. And I imagine I could probably just use the crossbows here, but... Eh, what's the point? Let's just mow them down. There we go. Thanks for the assistance there, bud. Still got a fair share of rooms to clear. I'm not entirely sure we still have a chest or two to unlock, but I'm confident enough to put that drill to good use again, especially since we still have the forge. So I'm not entirely sure what our fate will look like in a little bit. So yeah, we will definitely switch back over to putting that drill to use in a bit. Okay, and just some ice blocks. I'm just gonna, maybe I won't kill you actually. I got some pretty specific obvious targets up ahead all right and there's a magician up there too just to really take a shit in my cornflakes which uh, i'm not a fan of whoops okay this gun not as reliable as i thought it was not doing very much damage thank you for that blank my friend i really needed that <laughs> got a nice sack of cash with that though Ooh, what's over here what's over here nothing all right, first of all, I only have 35 rounds, so I'm actually going to just waste them right now so I don't accidentally swap over to it and be like, ooh, I can use this gun. Sticky crossbow, I'm just, I'm not into you right now, my man. We'll put the M1, whoops, I just used the key. <laughs> well, I guess that preparation wasn't for naught. Oh, hey, 
I get a chance at redemption. How lovely. All right, let's put this to good use. It's a good thing it wasn't a mimic because I absolutely did not check there. I didn't realize you could have an entire just ice block spawn here, but that's something dangerous to worry about, I guess. If I kill it first, that's a pretty good benefit, and I'm amazed that it gave me a little bonus. This is definitely a much more a hostile room compared to the ones that I've had to deal with earlier. A lot of like mid boss E enemies, bigger enemies. Ha ho, ho, and it's the heroine based off of Samus Aran's cannon. I am a huge fan of this weapon. It does some enormous damage and is something that I love carrying to the forge. Uh, the charge is a little slow, but I find it worth it with the amount of damage I just get to dish out. One of my favorite charge weapons to use, and I typically hate charge weapons. I'm actually more of a fan of uh, beam weapons. Stuff like uh, the demon head and like the water gun. I had tons of fun with the water gun when I first played the game actually. I would just spray everything into like the pits and then I just got the pit lord without noticing. So that was pretty awesome. I'm curious if there's any secret rooms here just because it feels like a pretty isolated place. Nothing at all. Okay, well let's just check in with you. First of all, I want to shoot at your walls too, just in case. Give me a second and no. Alright, well what do you have for me? Here you go. You gave me a boomerang. Don't you need that to complete your quest? Whose boomerang is that real quick? I know you already gave away someone's ocarina or sold it or whatever, so you're not the most reliable dude to hang around with. Alright, let's go do the boss. It's the kill pillars. This op will be plenty of use as I can spray straight into them, straight through them. Gotta be careful with how much jam stuff there's just flying around though. I do like the pinwheel that's been screwed up thanks to uh the blank that was used and we took one out so we get to like just reset what they're doing i always hate it when they start like clumping up on the side and then they just move past uh it's always a hard fight and it looks like you're the final one hello you're already really low so this op is doing good work the payday boys is doing good work and you are dead usually the kill pillars give me a huge amount of trouble so I'm kind of amazed that this just went by as smoothly as it did. Look at that, a master round. And we got our health filled up pretty well too. I'm very confident with this run right now. You dig? Yeah, I do dig. Wow, we didn't even use our blanks. Alright, well we can go to the store and start blanking stuff up then. Looking for those secret rooms. And nothing. Okay. I should probably check the boss floors first, but eh. Uh, whatever. I mean the chest floors. Okay. I guess we can keep using the op and maybe we can once again 360 no scope that dragon. I'm looking forward to it. But do we no scope him himself or do we no scope his heart? I can't tell. You know what? I want the finishing blow to be getting no scoped in his heart. Just so he can really feel it being dead and all. Huh? <laughs> Alright. Enough talking cocky though. I got many things to do and this room is really big. Wow. I should have looked at the mini-map. Oh no. Oh, it's a master hand. What the fuck? Ah! No! He took me away. And shot me away. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. I got the Daruma. Which looks like a Daruma bullet. What the? What do I do with- Oh no, I have to traverse this floor again. <laughs> How horrid. This is truly the cruelest run- Okay. Alright. So I guess this is where things just go south for me, eh? Yep, this is where things just absolutely go south for me. I'm just gonna wait. Ow, jerk. Um, Darumas are Japanese like, oh no, I gotta do this again. What am I supposed to do? Oh no, he's gone. No more hand. I guess maybe what I'm supposed to do is just dodge roll when he's about to die for me, when he's like outlined with blue. I lost a lot of health and I lost all my shoot in that exchange. That was terrible. I was not equipped to deal with that stupid thing. It's another one of these dudes with the magic box, so we'll just pop that. Hello, I wanted you. Ah! Well, I put you to good use. And by good use, I mean not at all. We'll put the coat to good use though, because I always treat this thing as like a machine gun as opposed to a pistol. And I guess that might have been the design goals of Colt, if this is based off a real weapon or a real weapon in its own. This thing is a little slow, I'm not really sure what it's up to, but it's dead, so that will solve that real quick. Hopefully I don't bump into another one of those things. But the Rumas are Japanese like little dolls that you leave around and it has one eye that's not filled in. 
basically, uh, the point of it is that if you leave it in your room, I believe it'll help you fulfill that goal or something. And once you fulfill that goal, you paint its eye in to show that it's finally complete. And then people in your household can be like, wow, you completed your Daruma, congratulations. Or something like that, I'm not Japanese. <laughs> something like that. That's, that's my way of getting through everything, you know? All my essays in university, I just wrote something like that at the end. And they're like, we can't, we, we have to give you an A. Like, on a technicality, he's right. <laughs> Probably right. <laughs> Don't actually try that, please. That will. You will be kicked out of university <laughs> for just being a moron. I'm not sure. Does university kick people out for being morons? I believe it. Well, yeah, I guess it does. If your GPA falls below a certain threshold, you end up going into academic probation and then... If you still suck, they just boot you out. This is why uh, this video is sponsored by Skillshare, who won't do that to you. Not sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> Channel's not even monetized. I wish I could make money. <laughs> Alright. And I'm kind of amazed that I've managed to commentate for the full hour so far. This has been an insanely long video. I do not look forward to having to upload this thing because my internet is just going to be crap for the next day or so we do have a lot of money though now though that's a that's a wowzer right there it looks like i would have to do 10 runs in order to get that key and figure out what it does which um i don't know if there's going to be 10 gungeon videos on my channel it's partly the reason why they're not going to be numbered because i just don't know right now cool i guess now that we're halfway through this video and <laughs> halfway as of this video is gonna be two hours well now that we're an hour in and you're enraptured by my beautiful voice and gameplay if you want to help support my channel please share my videos and like do some vulturing and if they come and watch the videos too and they're like wow i, I like this guy this guy he's, he's okay then uh, be sure to tell that dude to leave a comment of who referred so if your name is i don't know eggplant 76 and you got you referred a boy named broccoli make sure broccoli tells you that eggplant uh, brought you here, brought, brought him here. Man, this is getting more confusing. All right, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Oh, willing to sacrifice. What, what does that mean? I don't know what willing to sacrifice means. Let's take a look in the Ammonomonomicon. The Ruma bullets unlocked. Okay, cool. So the Ice Heart will make freezes enemies in their tracks. I am guessing that the freeze ray will start spewing out little frozen crystalline pieces when I use it on an enemy. Like if they get killed, they spit out some ice heart shards that usually come up when you get hurt. So we'll see. We'll just... Nope, nothing as cool as that. Maybe it's on a chance? I don't know. Let's try again. I don't know. I don't know what willing to sacrifice really means. Um... Yeah, whatever, we'll just keep going, I guess. Maybe it's the case that you run off ammo, you'll just lose a heart and have it fill back up. Who knows? Or maybe the freeze ray is double freeze. It's so cold. <laughs> Alright. I'm surprised that we haven't bumped into one of those hammers yet. But I'm also okay with it, because those things bump my uh, heart levels up to 9 zillion. Actually, no, I've seen one of those before. I'm amazed I'm not having a heart attack right now, then. AWP still charged up? Nope. All right, let's fill you up then, bad boy. I'm not going to keep waiting until I get up. Whoops. Uh, red thing. Where's that mage? Where's that mage? There you are. Goodbye. Uh, ch -ch -ch. We'll fire the small bullets. I never liked the small bullets on the heroine, honestly. They don't work too well. Hmm. I do hope that we bump into the gunsmith lady soon, because I could buy a little extra health or armor or whatever she sells. Uh, hopefully I do have enough money sitting at 112. Surely I do. We will see, I guess. And let you do that. There we go. Another chest falls down and partial ammo recovery. What do I want to fill? Hmm. I think I will fill the heroine. Top it up. And let's see what we have to fight to unlock this big old chest. Okay, we'll clear everything else first because the gun- Oh, they killed the gunsmith for me. Wow, good work, guy. Oh, that's it. All right. What do we have? We got a honeycomb. Honeycomb. Be prepared. I will. I also have a. Fa I am a big fan of bees. Ah, fuck. What are you? It's the ghost of Blockner. 
What's up, buddy? Oh, you are absolutely here to kill me. Cool. Well, um, whatever. I'll scream at you later, I guess, and then kill you. Fucking Blockner, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. <laughs> My god. Alright, I don't like this. Big Iron, help me. I'm gonna put some shotgun stuff to good use. There we go. Die, you fool. A map and a shield, and I need an explanation why he's trying to kill me. Okay. Secret rooms. Ooh, that's a good one right there. I like the idea of health, a thing, a blank, and a chest. I could really use one of those right now, actually. Oh, I guess I could have just teleported up here. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Well, let's go grab some extra supplies. I guess that helps. You enjoyed that whatever the fuck that I just read? Oh, I don't have blanks. Whoops. All right, we got to work our way to the shopkeeper then, which is up there. So, hopefully she sells a blank. <laughs> I could really use one right now. Or I might have to start, like, really hamming out these chests looking- Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we got the AK, we got the demon head, and we got broccoli. I think broccoli bumps all your stats up. Makes you strong. Uh, seal of approval. Unfortunately, I might die for uh, being so strong. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Let's get back to work. Maybe the Gungeon's past has kept him- the evil Blockner ghost locked in here when he's already happy out there. The Gungeon is a strange place full of retardation. I'm tempted to go fight the boss right now, but I am in a really shit spot and I really want that blank. Mmm. Mmm. We'll keep clearing rooms in the hope that we'll get something cool. Uh, usually this is my demise. Um, I'm not too excited about what's to come now. Once again, as usual, I feel like I should have bought the blood brooch. But, uh, yeah, there's fucking regrets, man. Regrets twice in a row. What's the what's the big idea? And, okay, what do I... I'm running out of things to use, frankly. Alright, we'll go back to the Ice Ray, then. Okay. What do we have here? Mage, take you out right away. Freeze gun you guys in a corner and maybe push you guys into whatever the fuck is out there. Really don't want to do, deal with this stuff. Nice. Room clear, relatively successful. Oh my god, I thought I fell. Okay, gun muncher, hello. I want you to chew on some stuff. I want you to chew on this sticky crossbow that I'm fed up with. And yeah, just chew on the shot bow too. Two crossbows, give me something good. Bundle of wands, I love a bundle of wands. Something like that. Uh, wow, a pox cannon. No one's going, oh, whoops. No one's gonna miss that. Actually, fuck it, I should take it. Wait, it's recharging. Hmm. I guess that's its synergy with the Ice Heart. So, I have a reliable weapon in hell. I will literally freeze hell over then, if I manage to get past Gun Dragon. Oh. Or maybe the dragon will be replaced with the Resourceful Rat now that I have its, its little token, its little message. Okay. No secret rooms, right? I already got the map. Wow, I'm in a bad spot. All right, let's start breaking some chests open then. Maybe we can get something good. Chunk. I don't know why everything else is... Oh, wait, no. There was a frozen patch there. Mobby. Okay. I guess we can leave one chest open. It's a little unfortunate that I'm about to get my ass beat right at the front doors of the boss, but fuck it. I got an AWP. I'm here to do a job, and I'm gonna do that job right. What's good, Gungeon? Dragon, I'm gonna gonna shoot you I'm gonna shoot you with my gun ah for the most part he's not too difficult with his attack patterns but they can be intimidating especially when they start stacking on top of each other hmm I personally find some of the other bosses much harder than the dragon but he's still a pretty hefty foe like it's an endurance contest whether you'll be able to uh, deal with him or not in time because you just Eventually rolling that dice to the point where you lose your health like this right here is a terrible breath roll when it's straight on I prefer it when it's a wide sweep because if you hug close to the fire um, It's still nice and concentrated you dodge a roll over and you just don't have to deal with it anymore Whereas when it's a direct fire like that you can uh, be put in a pretty risky situation. I have to say And look at that look at that. It looks like we might be able to get ourselves a no scope on this bad boy and look at our little clown buddy right there. Just still hammering hammering bullets out on that bad boy. 
he does not stop he is a very aggressive man ready to just tear shreds out of this dragon and there we go let's start putting bullets in your heart how do you like that how do you like that huh oh nope i missed <laughs> all right 360 no scope next time this guy better not kill steal me he looks like he's super ready to kill steal me it's not cool man i might have to kick you out of the gang for that <laughs> All right, well, we got pretty far and I'm pretty happy. Whoop! Ah, oh, nah, nah, you're not stealing my kill, mate. Look at that 360 no scope right on his heart. Yeah, that feel good, that feel good. You go back right into that lava, my friend. You don't belong here anymore. Lots of credits nowadays. Oh, and a master round. <laughs> Didn't realize I perfected that. <laughs> well, thank you kindly. Okay, what else do we have? Nope. Ooh, key. Yes, I will take you and let's take this to this bad boy here. What do we have? It's a fucking tumor. Can I talk to you? Your body's still here. Splattered tumor blood all over you? Nope. Okay. No blanks. We're not getting that secret room. And we have to march straight into hell right after. I guess we'll just keep the freeze right on so it can keep recharging. Maybe it recharges depending on how much health I'm missing. Who knows? All right, there we go. Let's go on in. Look at that. Just me by myself. Don't get to bring my clown buddies into uh, this vague, wispy world right here. Surprised I didn't bump into the resourceful rat. Who knows where he is? Maybe he's a secret boss and I just didn't find him in my first run through. That's fine. We can always figure that stuff out later. Um, and yeah, bullet hell. Time to find the boss as soon as possible. And I'm going to get my biggest gun out because I don't want to risk it. Oh! Okay, well, I'm just gonna jump over here. The bees will take care of that for me. And I'll snipe out every other thing that's around here. Are you gonna shoot them for me? Alright, I'll, I'll just shoot it. There we go. Hey, a key. That might be useful, depending on whether an enemy feels like dropping a chest for me right now. Current plan is to just put as much damage down range as possible. Let's get rid of you. And we'll just swap back to you and cover everything in poison. That's one of the benefits of bug boots or in my personal favorite sponge boots. Because um, that way I can just not worry about poison whereas everyone else is always ticking down when I'm just being indecisive. Uh, membrane's not doing co too good work on that kind of stuff though. In fact, it's not doing poison stuff at all. I can't tell if this is because the membrane just doesn't do poison despite the fact that I thought it did because it's green. Or uh, something else. Maybe it does only poison damage to someone at a chance when it impacts someone. Who knows. Uh, these hell can look like they die relatively well to the membrane. So this is something that I can bring to hell, luckily enough. We're going to roll for this. And I might regret this because we're going to get hell monsters here. But um, I really need like something. Some hope, I guess. And we'll just keep firing into these guys. They get tedious if you leave them alone. So taking out those guys first definitely makes it things easier. The Frost Giant, an excellent weapon. Uh, I have a good fun time using it. I don't know if I should be using it up close. I guess it's very similar in terms of like the Phoenix gun, which I'm not a big fan of. But it seems like the Frost Giant to me always did enough damage to make it worthwhile. And we'll just let this guy swell up then. There we go. A new spawn here, take you out, you're frozen up. And yeah, I usually love spamming the frost shot as much as possible because you can get a lot of bullets down range, especially with its large ammo capacity compared to something like the Phoenix, which I find isn't adequate. Although it might be the case that they're the exact same and I just sound like an absolute tool right now. Fire is spreading, I like that. Make that Iron Maiden feel the pain. And oh God, even more. Alright, well, you know what? No big deal. I can handle you. Oh, we gotta let him, like, unfreeze over to, uh, do that. Well, we'll cover you in blood instead. That should be adequate. And yet more monsters. Okay, this room is like a mid-boss rush or something. Wowzers. At least we cleared it out. Nothing to be had besides money, though, which is unfortunate. I hope there's a- Ooh! A hell merchant one day. Ah! Ah! Go away, flesh square. I don't like you, you're not cool. Ugh. Oh god, I don't know why it does that. Is it being triggered by my like minions? Does it smell me? I'm not entirely sure, but it is a very uncomfortable thing to be beside. 
Okay. So far, so good. That deaf dude coming close is a bit dangerous. Thank goodness I knocked that jam dude into the... Ow. Into the uh, pit because I would not be able to kill that in time with this mutation ability. Look at all those blood chunks flying around. Real goopy mess that I've made right here. One and a half hearts and a room full of wizards. This is actually hell. I will just spew blood on all of you. Get all your nice robes ruined. Uh, this is what you get for causing me mayhem for all my playthroughs. For all my hundreds of hours. I hate you with lots of hate on top. Oh god. Okay. Oh, yet more wizards. You know what? Good luck, like, collecting bullets out of my giant swarm of meat sauce. This is me trying to make spaghetti right here, you know? I'm not good at making spaghetti. I like spaghetti, though. And now I'll give you smallpox in the form of tennis balls? I don't know what I'm shooting. Maybe actual entire things of pox. Okay, we'll put the coat to good use. You know what? No, no, we won't. I didn't want that. <laughs> no, I don't want that. We'll leave that thing alone and keep moving, I guess. We'll just try to carve a path to the corner of the map or something. That way we don't deal with redundant rooms that have a low chance of actually giving me the boss. The priest guys can get a little annoying when those bullets follow you around because it's a nice concentrated chunk. So you can't just like swerve and get rid of all the bullets in one go. Well, I mean you can if you've got like an adequate wall, but I personally do not position that far ahead. Ah! There we go. Is hell going to take my life once more? It feels like it, honestly. I sure wish my AWP had more ammo because I really would need that right now. Hint, hint, wink, wink, drop lords. Uh, I guess I have to survive before the drop lords will consider me. And they say no. Alright. Oh, hey, boss fight. Do I have AWP? Fuck. Ooh, what do I fight you with? Chances of rolling in ammo is very, very low. We're just gonna have to brave it and call it a day when we die, unfortunately. Of course, we always still have the extra content afterwards, like talking to the gun mini game guy and um, all the other stuff that's going on. Do I want to use my charge gun now? No. Let's just use the freeze ray and focus on him. That is very little damage, actually. That is depressing. Okay, well, at least we can keep the bullets at bay. And for the most... Woo! There we go. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is not a very good sign because the extra bullets does make dodging his patterns, which are pretty bullet dense, a lot harder. But we might, we might get a chance. Ah, okay. Let's just dodge in the corner right here. Oh, he's still taking damage though. So that was actually a pretty good run. And it seems like he might be doing it again, actually. So I will take it because we get to go to phase two. <laughs> Lucky us. <sighs> oh, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> the resourceful rat at the end is just going to just club me in the back of the head and then call it a day. Thank God this thing recharges, though. Thank God for the ice heart synergy because I need that ammo boost. And look at that. In the cutscene, I'm getting an extra point of ammo. Just keep rolling it into me, please. My hands hurt. <laughs> and this is usually, like, the hardest part. This guy and then the other part, I guess. I find the first phase not too bad. This phase, I am not used to dealing with. Like, this stuff right here. I guess the, like, little bubbly-looking ones just disappear over time. Okay. Well, uh, please, 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 please. What weapon do I want? What weapon do I want? SKS! Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. Please help me. Oh, God. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm uh, much rather nervous right now for uh, this one. This is definitely uh, probably one of the tighter situations I've ever done the Lich boss fight. Uh, I'm really glad that he keeps doing the arm slam thing though because that lets me get the damage out and we might be able to go into phase three. <laughs> oh, thank god we get to go to phase three at least i'll die to phase three it's not too bad that's not too bad all right my payday minions if you want a payday you're gonna have to help me take this man down <laughs> oh does he spit out jam bullets i think he does what a what a place oh my god i almost got skewered right off the bat that's a damn shame if that happened. This SKS is doing work for me, though, so I do appreciate it. So, yeah, I do want my SKS to be put to good work. Ah. Okay, what are you going to do? Ah, okay. Is he coming back up? He sure is. 
Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're really fucking with my bananas right now, aren't you? Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, not today. Damn. So close. Wow, an hour 16 and the recording software is sitting at 120 now. All right. Well, let's go to the breach and take a look at uh, Panic the sled sled dog. And we'll keep going with the hunter. We'll put our onesie on because it's pajama day. So where's our Game Boy, man? Hello. For your contributions to my continued livelihood in the gun forsaken place. I've donated something to your acquisitions department in your name. I hope it puts the odds a little more in your favor. Chances are, you'll need all the help you can get. Run along now. Can I talk to you one more? Been a long time since I've seen a shooter like you. Alright, well, see ya. What do we have here? Snow... Ballots? Okay. Oh, smo s snow bullets. Devolver rounds? I know what these are. I honestly hate the devolver stuff. I'm sorry. So I'm not a fan of picking that up. Nothing here. Everything's sold out as usual. Do you see anything new? Nope. Okay. Well, I do know that we can go over to the right here to probably talk to Panic. Hey, there you are. Ever feel like things are a little slow around here? Ever feel like rolling around at the speed of sound? Want to go fast? Radical? Aw oh, yeah, this is happening. Game speed, turbo. Oh, god, yeah, that's fast. How's it going, speedster? Just wanted to chat. I'm a chili dog. I'm sure you are a chili dog. Oh, wait, because Sonic likes chili dogs. Incredible. Can you slow things down for me? Alright, back to classic. <laughs> well, maybe next time if I end up doing another Gungeon video, we'll do the turbo mode. Real quick, I want to talk to Blockner, that piece of fucking shit. What do you have to say for yourself? I decided to go back in for some action. Sorry if I gave you trouble. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I realized that to finally rest easily, I need to needed to know for certain. I needed to train a champion. Looks like Manny bored of Blockner into a vengeful spirit. Okay. Planner Lords, his hostage bell serves his whims reluctantly. Oh, that's the Cthulhu bell, man. You mastered his minds, a fine display of caution. Have you heard of Gungeoneer Theodore of Rass? He was known for his alacrit alacrity, <laughs> alacrity, fuck, dexterity, but he faltered with the eyes of the galaxy upon him. So beloved was he that he was granted a second chance, a new life with which to challenge the Gungeon, and yet again he fell. Today I'm drinking to him, poor bastard. Mm, what now? Okay. What are you up to? You may be ugly as hell. Okay, well, that's... That's just rude. Well, we're done here for this video. Thank you for watching this far into this 1 hour 23 minute thing, basically. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, fucking whatever other dumb shit that everyone else says. And if you want more content like this, and you want my channel to grow for some reason, share this video with people and tell them that it came from you. And otherwise... I don't know how to do an outro, maybe I'll do another Gungeon video, but in any case, take care everybody.